someone breathing on me? I think someone's breathing on me. And also, am I back at that dang step shrine of worship again? Like, how do I keep getting back here anyway after I get, keep getting attacked by the black tentacle things and I'll oh, forget about it. Yeah, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Oh, that was a pretty good nap and I am ready for more adventuring. After a quick word from our sponsor, Dorman. <laughs> Hmm, as threatening as that sounds, it's not really that threatening of a Colossus. It takes a while to defeat, but it's not, like, devastating or anything like that. Uh, because it takes a while to defeat, I'll probably end up using cuts once you get the gist of uh, how to defeat this bad boy. But anyway, we gotta get to said bad boy, and along the way to said bad boy is for lizards. So... Uh, and uh, they're all at save temples, and three of them are at one save temple, so I'm going to have to use one of the old save and quit tricky trick trick, you know what I'm doing, and yeah, you get that by now. <laughs> so what I'm going to do here is head off in the direction of the next Colossus, but not quite in the direction of the Colossus, because I've got business to attend to so you gotta go like that way but I what I really want to do is go more towards those pillars there because I'm gonna be taking a new bridge this time the reason why is because it's closer to the spot that I would like to go to next basically it I could get to this by taking the other bridge like the the bridge that I took when I went over to uh, the last Colossus but this is just faster. <laughs> like, I could take the, the other bridge and turn right until I get to this spot, but... Plus, you also get a different view of the area, which is cool and all. So, yeah. Um, the first save temple we're going to stop at is this one right up ahead. You can see it from here. Uh, this is the one that has three lizards at it, so I'm going to be doing, as I said, the save and quit trick to get all three of them to respawn after I get the tail of each of them. Sound good? Good. Okay, so let's get lizard hunting and ooh, I see one right off the bat. Off the front of this. Ooh, I think I got it! Like, instantly, that was awesome! Because you know how much I hate having to wait around to get those freaking lizards sometimes, I swear. They're, they're just there to mess with me at times. I don't forget anything, because my OCD for 100 percenting <laughs> Okay, did I really get it? Did I really get it? Yes, I did! So there is the first lizard tail. And since I'm at a save shrine, you know what that means? View of the area! Woohoohoo! This one's really nice, by the way. Okay, let's go save and quit. I'm okay. Freaking! Yes! Got it! There is lizard number two! Ooh, this one seems to be hanging around. This backside around here for some reason, this third one. I mean, I know they can scamper around the whole thing, but this one just seems to not be coming around the front like the other two did. Oh, wow, this one's Speedy Gonzales. Oh, I think it just, just went right over the top of it. <laughs> Come on, lizard. You know, and you and I both know how this is going to end. I have much, much more persistence than you have hiding skills. Because of my remarkable OCD powers. Ah, see, I told you. And that's what you get. All right. So I got all three lizards at this temple. And now I can head over to the next temple, which is going to be a relatively long walk over to there. But it's going to be a cool walk. And you'll see why. Um, this bridge right here leads to a place we haven't been before. And this place is like a forest in a mountain, if that makes any sense. <laughs> I don't know how the trees grow here with practically no light. 
But all they grow here. I probably shouldn't question the game logic, otherwise things could implode. And yeah, anyway, here we are! If you want to exit this forest and go straight on ahead to the next place that you have to go to, just go right. But I want to give you a little tour of this area because there's... It's, it's not all that big, but it's very beautiful. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, just look at this place. And uh, always faithful Agro there is kind of running into everything. But we're okay, we're okay. <laughs> and, yeah, down is death over there, so uh, don't go down there. And that's really all there is... To, ah, that's really all there is to this area here. But I don't see very many people show this off, which is too bad. It's too bad. And uh, I think this is the exit that I am... Ah! Yeah, that I am looking for once I can get myself away from said trees. Uh, right, there we go. Yeah, this is what I'm looking for. Uh, it's much, much wider exit here than when, the way we came in. So that's how you can tell the difference between the two. So yeah, we're running along the edge of a cliffside with a waterfall, and it's awesome. And eventually you're going to come across a uh, save temple. Eventually. And ah! Don't run your face into the wall, Agro. I think you would be smarter than that. <laughs> okay, I think the save temple is coming up here. Uh, yeah, it's right here. I'm gonna stop here. I don't want to fly off the edge, but this is why I want to stop here. Because there's a lizard right over here. Whoops. Ah. Whoopsie doodle. Oh, 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 oh. What the heck is going on? Is the moon crashing down in Majora's mask or what? <laughs> anyway, I need to uh, find that lizard, I suppose. Ooh, 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 ooh. Scampered up. Are you behind? Oh, I think you went behind the plaque somehow. I don't know how you managed to do that, but you managed to do that. Oh, whoa, whoa. oh come on, you're just not being fair. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah. Got it. And I think I'm going to save my game here to give myself a little bit of a uh, checkpoint here. Boy, I'm glad I took that time to do a save here because I realized that my camera was low on batteries. So, yeah, it's a nice little checkpoint to have now. <laughs> but my uh, video up to this point here is all good to go, no glitches or anything like that. I just gotta finish this by going over to the next Colossus, which is all the way over there. By over there, I mean under those arches and into its own sort of kind of battle arena type place. But anyway, I'm gonna try and walk most of the way here because, you know, it takes kind of a while swimming and, well, this is as far as I can go without swimming. <laughs> So, here we go. What I'm going to be aiming for is, uh, well, you can't really see it from here. Well, maybe you can a little bit. See that little thing peeping out on the left side there, just at the surface of the water? That's the spot that I'm going to start this at. But, uh, it's going to take me a little while to get there. So let's enjoy the beautiful underwater scenery here while I eventually gasp for air mysteriously underwater. <laughs> Because uh, it's a long swim, and I only have so much stamina, as you can tell. It's getting uh, drained pretty fast here. By the way, if you run out of stamina when you're underwater, it's not a big deal. You just pop up to the surface automatically. It just goes to your watch. See? That happens. And then you get a bunch of stamina back, and then it recovers incredibly quick for some reason. <laughs> okay, so let's continue on. We're almost there to the next Colossus. I should say to the platform that starts the battle of the next Colossus, and here we are. Something is underwater. Something's bubbly. What could it be? It's the next Colossus! Pelagia! Well, we gotta get in a little bit closer though, so that you can see how big it is. But it's basically a moving island of sorts. Kind of, sorta. There's even rocks on its head and everything. <laughs> in fact, those rocks are pretty important to battling it, and you're gonna see why as we get into this. By the way, uh, this guy here, he shoots, so you just wanna duck around uh, under here. And yes, it's a good cover. <laughs> 
The reason why you want to duck under here, though, is to get him to sort of kind of go up to the land. And uh, this could take a little bit of a little while here. It's a, it's a matter of being patient. This, this Colossus takes a while to defeat, and you gotta be patient. But once you get the idea of it, you'll, you'll understand how to defeat it. Just gotta wait it out here and wait for it to do something a little bit different. Oh, I think it's gonna do it. Okay. Okay, get ready to go up here. And then jump up here and onto... Oh, shoot. <laughs> I want to go up on top of its... Uh, on its face, basically. Oh, poopers. <laughs> I guess I gotta get him a little closer, perhaps. Maybe... Ow, oh, pain. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna just let him get a tad closer. Ah, how did he hit me behind that? Seriously? <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. I'll recover my health uh, while I'm crouching behind here anyway. What? <laughs> I feel I'm being gypped here or something. Because I know you can use this to block the shots. There we go, see? Okay, that's, maybe he's close enough now. Mm, nope, I didn't think so. Well, there's another. There's an alternate way to get on top of him, but uh, I'm going to show that after I do it the proper way. As I said, it's just a matter of ah, patience. <laughs> so I'm thinking about cutting ahead until I am able to, you know, do this in a way that's proper, but this could be a little while. Okay, let's try it here. Oh, I was a little bit early. Well... That might work. Oh! I said it might work, but it didn't work. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Electrifying. Yeah. Well, maybe that's close enough. Ah! Aha! <laughs> get up, get up, get up, get up. Oh! So close. And. Ooh, I made it! Okay, let's try and get up now. Ow! Ah, okay, incredible grip saved me once again. <laughs> yeah! Oh, that's a freaking ow. Yes, I know, Dorman, I'm taking a while. But I know how to beat this guy, it's just... is not reacting properly. <laughs> okay... Ah, let's try it again, I suppose. Ah, ah, wait, wait, wait. Oh, yes, kind of. Um, well, that's not exactly what I was aiming to do. <laughs> I wanted to jump higher, not off of him, onto the leg, and I'll freaking choke it away. Oh, yeah! There we go! Finally got the right timing here. So, yeah, you want to jump up higher as you possibly can when it dips its head down, but I just wasn't doing that properly. I mean, it is possible to get up to the top from that ledge that I was grabbing onto before, but uh, it's obviously a lot harder. <laughs> so, what's the point of getting up here? There, uh, there isn't any vitals up here, you know, to be able to actually do anything. However, there is something more important. When we're up here, we actually have access to the controls. Yeah, the controls of this Colossus. If you hit one of the front rocks, it'll move forward. If you hit the right rocks, it'll turn right. If you hit the left rocks, it'll turn left. And I don't have to do anything here because it's right near where I need to be. I want to get on top of one of these things. Um, I'm going to actually hit that, make them turn. And yeah, see that? See what that does? I'm gonna do that again. And there we go. I just need to be in a good position. There we go. Now we're in a similar situation that we were down below. Only this time, we're going to be standing. And the reason why we're up here rather than down here is because its vitals won't be vulnerable when you when he's still too crouched low to the ground. So you have to get him a certain height above the ground. As you can tell, there's three other places just like this around the area, so we gotta do this a couple more times as we go. But anyway, we just gotta wait for him to uh, get up on top of here like he did before, you know, back when he was on the ground. He did that crouch thing to look over and try and shoot me. But, uh, does he even know where I am? He's not supposed to know where I am exactly, but uh, the thing is that I have to baffle him, uh, similar to what I did with the Barba, you know, the 5th uh, Colossus, the ape-like one, oh, there we go, 
Okay, so we get over here, and then we go and jump over to the belly, and there's the vitals right there. And now I just gotta stab him a couple times while he is hanging out up on top. Preferably a good two strokes. Ah! How many more can I get off of this? Ah! Aww. <laughs> And, of course, you let go when you're underwater. Now, I would like to show you the alternate way of getting on top of him. As you see, he breaks apart that thing, but you could use the bottom surface to uh, get back on top of him like you did before. Because you see, there's that middle protection thing in the center that you crouch below, below and whatnot. But what I want to show you here is a glitch that has to do with this uh, Colossus. And it's a really funny glitch, too. Is if you're swimming up on the surface like this and you try and... This, this doesn't matter if I'm getting hit, by the way. And if you try and go around it to the back side where you can climb up, well, you won't actually be able to go up to the back side. There is a good chance that you will be pushed under him and I should say into him partially it's kind of that yeah, just like this look at this I'm inside the Colossus <laughs> this yeah this is a glitch and since I showed you the other method on how to get on top of my thought I thought it would show you this glitchy method just for kicks and now if you hold the grab button you know R1 while you go to the back of him you'll automatically start climbing on top of the fuzziness here and then you can climb all the way up to the top and take hold of the controls once again. And then you go over to the next area, rinse and repeat until you defeat the Colossus. And judging from its health, I'm pretty sure he's gonna be done this cycle. <laughs> Which pleases me greatly, because this one usually takes uh, people a good while to defeat. So it's gonna be nice to show a nice fast method on how to defeat this guy for people who uh, uh, who have issues taking care of this guy really quickly. Alright, so, let's see where we have to go. Um, over there will be fine, I suppose. Yeah, I will hit that, and I will hit that, and I will make you go forward. It's pretty hard to fall off here, by the way, in case you didn't realize that. Even if you're uh, rolling around up here, uh, what will happen is that you can just press R1, you can grab onto the fuzzy, grassy stuff, and then you'll be perfectly fine. Keep going, man. Keep going, we're almost to the next uh, plateau here. Uh, this looks good, I think I can jump to it from here. Ooh! Oh no, 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 oh no, oh no. That's not good, that's not good at all. <laughs> Why did you have to give me such ire? Come on now, man. I thought we were best buds. Oh, what? Why did you jump off like that? <laughs> well, I can get up like this, I know I can get up like this. You can't tell me I can't get up like this, because I know I can get up like this. I've done it before, but it's faster to do it on the front. That's what I was trying to do before, but, yeah, whatever. This is perfectly fine. Yeah, let me up, let me up. Stop shaking, stop shaking. There we go. <laughs> and, oh, 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 you're getting too far away from my destination. Eh. So go turn that way, please. <laughs> Isn't it awesome how you can control an entire Colossus just by nicking these rocks with your sword? Uh, come on, actually, you should be turning. There we go. Don't know, don't know why I wasn't turning, but whatever. And now forward, please. Thank you. Uh, that's a pretty good angle, right? Oh, uh, maybe not. Turn a little more this way. Just make sure your jump is set up right, uh, so you don't fall off like I did the last time. I thought it was set up right, but no, nah, it wasn't quite set up right. Oh, there we go. That's good. Just like that. Now, we're going to do this one more time here. Let's wait for it. Wait for it. Come on, come up here. Come on. You see me. You know I'm up here. So you're gonna want to get a, you know, a different vantage point, just like so. <laughs> and belly rub time, or I should say belly stab time. So here we go. I'm gonna get a good, good charge going on here. <laughs> I win. Yes, woo! So how do you like that? I showed you two different methods on how to get on them. A glitchy way and the original way that you're supposed to use. Oh god, here comes the tentacle stuff. So that means I should probably end off the part here before my words are stuttered due to the pain. So I hope you enjoy, 
and I'll see you in the next part. Oh, I was too late to finish the part. <laughs>